It's Marvelous Meriwether, and today we are going to learn how to do advanced compositions for our storyboards. If you've already figured out how to do the main sort of compositions, this is a way to add visual pizzazz into your storyboard. So, let's get drawing. Okay, so the first composition that we will be talking about today is the over the shoulder. So this is where you have one character with their back facing the audience, and the other character that they are looking at. So this guy is going to be the main focus and what your eye is drawn to because you're not going to be looking at the character's back as much. This is a useful shot when you just want one thing to be in focus. The next composition we can talk about is the low angle. So this is where you have an object and you just place the camera at a very low angle looking up to it. This angle makes whatever you're looking at very intimidating looking. So that they're sort of looking down on the audience, that the audience is small in comparison. The exact opposite of that is the high angle or the bird's eye view. And this is where you take the camera and then you just move it super above whatever you're looking at. So the object that you are looking at, in this case the alien, becomes very small or cowardly feeling. Our next composition we will be talking about is the wide angle. And this is just where you have two characters that are set apart at the opposite sides of the screen. This creates a sort of tension between the characters and is very good for like tense atmosphere, you know? Our next shot is the pan. And this is where the camera moves along with whatever action you're looking at. This is where you have one scene and then you pan over to the other side. So these are going to be two separate things in your actual animation, but we're going to draw them as one just so you can see where the pan is leading to. So our first panel is going to be looking at the alien, but then the camera is going to move along so that it goes over to the other main character. Another sort of variation on this is the whip pan, and this is where you just do a really, really fast transition between one character or one scene to another. One of the other compositions we will be talking about is the two shot, and this is where you have like a medium shot of the characters, so you don't show their feet, but you do show the rest of their body. And both of them are going to be looking at the camera. This is just to create sort of a sense of familiarity with the characters. And the last composition we will be talking about today is the dolly zoom. So the dolly zoom is where you have something that zooms in really close to only one object. Conversely, it could also go the other way, where you go in really close on an object and then zoom out. That's all for advanced compositions. Tune in next episode to learn how to do layers for your animation. Please subscribe and thank you for watching. That's all for now. Goodbye.